a multi-billion dollar global industry with an estimated 20.9 million victims. Two thirds of them are women and girls. The city of Toledo holds the fourth highest rate of human trafficking in the nation. That is according to the Ohio Department of Health. The National Human Trafficking Hotline reported nearly 400 cases in Ohio in 2016. This is a 25 percent increase from the Polaris Project's 276 reported cases in 2015. However, the Ohio Trafficking in Persons Study Commission estimates that thousands of cases go unreported each year. People may not feel like they'll be believed um, in regards to sex trafficking or human trafficking. Most don't even see themselves as a victim. The Ohio Human Trafficking Commission identified youth aged 12 to 17 years old as the most vulnerable to sex trafficking. In Toledo alone, the Human Trafficking Task Force estimates that over 1,000 youth are being trafficked each year. In fact, last Friday, Reverend Cordell Jenkins of Toledo was arrested by the FBI on the account of recruiting minors for sexual exploitation. This recruitment takes place in public spaces, so it could be in high schools, it could be in public libraries, it could be at the park. It could be social media. Um, youth are very vulnerable to those things. The Toledo community is not alone in the fight against human trafficking. There are several resources to support victims on their road to recovery. The Lucas County Human Trafficking Coalition connects those in need to shelters, vital health care, and mental health services. First of all, they need trauma care. They need trauma care, which is mental health. We network with many agencies to make sure our ladies get whatever assistance they need. Fennell Williams, project coordinator of the People Against the Trafficking in Humans, or PATH project, says it's important for the community to become educated about the issue. She stressed that the more people know about the resources available, the easier it will be to connect victims to the services they need. That is why events such as Take Back the Night, an evening dedicated to raising awareness, educating the community, and celebrating survivors are important in the effort to fight back. It really empowers them to speak up and have the resources. They gain the resources here to be able to um, report what's going on, or even if they don't report, seek help and be able to um, support survivors and support themselves as they are the ones going through that situation. Go to ut10news.com for links to additional resources. Getting involved in the fight against human trafficking can be as simple as attending awareness events or by contacting the National Human Trafficking Hotline with any suspicions. Their number is one 373 7888 I'm Madison Humphrey for UT10 News.